Well, hello to everyone out there on YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I am doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. So today I'm going to be making some mayonnaise. So I just wanted to carry you along, show you my recipe and show you how I do it. So I just have um, some olive oil here. This is the olive oil blend actually. So there's sunflower uh, oil as well as extra virgin olive oil. Now I had planned on doing half and half because that's normally what I do or I do a third of one, a third of another, a third of another one. Um, but I don't have, well, I do have the oils, but I, and, but one of them is already, um, expired. Well, even though that wouldn't matter, but it's, it smells a little rancid. So I would have loved to use this because I never use avocado oil. And I was thinking, I said, oh, that would be nice. But I smelled it. I was like, eh, nah, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to use one cup of the, uh, this oil here one cup and I'm going to use two eggs those are medium eggs so I'm going to use two of them I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of uh, garlic uh, granules I'm going to use one tablespoon of white wine vinegar I think I'll use a tablespoon of this Dijon mustard that is partially <laughs> empty <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to use a, a tape a teaspoon of uh, this salt. I'm going to use also a teaspoon of uh, white peppercorns and you can use any pepper you'd like. I'm just using white. I do enjoy white peppercorns plus for the color and whatnot. And, and you can add anything you'd like. Some people, you know, there's paprika that goes into the uh, it and just so many different recipes the way people make their own personally so that's their personal preference even as far as mustard somebody might want to use yellow mustard uh so the peppercorns sorry uh as i was saying i have peppercorns but of course i have ground them up very well in my mortar and pestle so to go over this again i'm going to be using one cup of olive oil you can use the oil of your choice I'm going to be, and, and you would need uh, some type of vessel to make it in uh, because I will be using my immersion blender. So you would need uh, a vessel that's wide enough to take your mortar, or your um, uh, blender, your immersion blender. And so I have my jar. I'm doing two eggs. These are medium eggs. So if they're smaller, medium, you know, you can use two. I guess if it's a large or jumbo, you probably could use one. I'm going to be using a tablespoon of the garlic granules. Um, I think I said half a teaspoon. Uh, <clears throat> I think I said half a teaspoon before, so I'm sorry. I think I'm going to use a half teaspoon of the garlic granules, one tablespoon of the white wine vinegar you can use any vinegar of your choice a lot of people use lemon or lime <clears throat> uh, rice wine vinegar I guess could work as well because I think I've used rice wine vinegar as well um, but I think the vinegar lasts uh, is a preserver so it lasts longer than the natural lemon although lemon of course is a preserver also I'm going to be using a tablespoon of the Dijon mustard. I'm going to be using one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to be using, again, one teaspoon of white peppercorns. So let me get everything together. I want to crack my eggs and get uh, things situated, and I'll be back in a minute. So, lest I forget, the eggs should be lukewarm uh, uh room temperature not cold so be sure that they're cold as a matter of fact maybe all of your ingredients should be room temperature um and some people recommend putting eggs in first oil in second some oil first eggs in second so that's a they're you know a matter of preference so that's up to you to do that uh let me see where is okay and then i'm just going to add the the oil now i'm just i'm not eyeballing it there are measurements on the 
just a little bit since the egg was there. And I forgot to check the, um, <clears throat> what's some chicken? So I got my eggs and oil in. Let's put in our Dijon mustard. And I'm just, uh-oh. Uh, let me see if I can knock this down some more. I can't believe I'm out of, I just bought this. I don't know what, I, I, I don't even recall even using it myself. But I guess, uh, try to get out as much as I can. I probably should just take the top off of it. Let me see, is that about a tablespoon? Just a tiny bit more. Okay, well that's more than a tiny, but I think that should suffice as, well we got a cup and we got a, a little bit over a cup. Let me get this cleaned up here. Okay, so let's do our Our, um, seasonings or spices or whatever before adding the oil uh, the uh, vinegar and I'm just doing less than a half a teaspoon of the um, granules, the garlic granules, and that's a matter of choice or preference. Doesn't have to be. Then I'm going to put in one tablespoon, excuse me, one teaspoon <clears throat> of salt, salt of your choice. I do, you know, flaky or either <clears throat> granules, maybe not the coarse uh, because it might not <clears throat> catch in your um, grind up well in your uh, with the mortar and pestle so let's get this in and it's just a it's not a full um teaspoon but it's it's good enough you know I could put a little bit more in but I'm gonna leave it like it is now for our last ingredient let's do a tea a tablespoon of the white wine vinegar And yeah. I kind of want to add a tiny bit more. <laughs> I'm such a bad person. This is uh, follow the Bible though, please. Because sometimes I anyway, I'm just Okay, so everything is done. Oh, that smells so good. So we have a cup of olive oil. We have two eggs. We have a table, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic granules, and a, ta a one tablespoon of the um, white wine vinegar. Then you want to take your immersion blender and immerse it. Let me get this out of here. This is bothering me. <clears throat> Take this little mustard out of here. It's on the side here. There's a little bit here, but yeah. There we go. Now, so let's take our immersion blender and take it all the way down to the bottom of your vessel. And then let's put it on. 
Once we put it on, it's going to start immersing. Keep it on the bottom until everything is immersed or blended well on the bottom. And as it is immersing and thickening, you want to begin to raise it up until everything is immersed. Sometimes you can go up and down a couple of times, but be careful with that because you don't want it to split. Although if it splits, you can fix it. There's a way to wait, let it settle again, and then try again. So don't waste it. Don't throw out your ingredients or waste it. <clears throat> okay, so let's go. I hate to stop in the mid, but I needed to have this on the bottom here. and gentlemen nice thick uh, I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing <laughs> give me a second here mm. let me get a spatula of some type So it was spinning because I was trying to raise it up without holding it. So that's why I was spinning like that. <laughs> oh, that's why I had to hold it down. So here we go. Let me just get this off of here quickly without the, hold on, without the cord. That would be very unsanitary. Although I do keep my cords clean for cooking things. And that is really all it really is. It takes about a, a minute or maybe less than two. Oh, it smells good. Less than two minutes. I'm just going to test it, taste it also to make sure that the flavor is right. Because uh, if it's not, I will add a little bit more of the ingredients and then blend it a little bit more. Although I don't like doing that because, again, like I said, I don't. I don't want mine to split, so. Okay, that's so much more inside of here. So I hope I'm, I have you guys in frame and I do apologize if I don't. I'm just cleaning the, uh, let me see what you can see. Okay, good. I'm making a mess here, I see. <clears throat> Just want to get this all out and okay let me grab a little bit more of this so let's do a little taste test I just don't like all of that, that mess around it because it's going to mess you up everywhere. <clears throat> Let's just look at the consistency first of all. I think that's pretty, a pretty thick <clears throat> mayo. I like my mayo thick. I don't like it runny, although this is not the thickest I've made it I, <clears throat> because I haven't made it in some, some time, sometimes. I forget how long to go. And like I said, I don't want it to split. But although it looks runny, it, it's not. It's a very thick consistency. Very, it's almost hard to move, especially down in the bottom where I spent more time. It's almost, 
uh, very um, hard to uh, maneuver here. Let me grab something so that I can do a taste test. Just a little spatula, spoon, and here we go, guys. Mmm. <laughs> That's perfect. The salt is perfect. The garlic is perfect. The pepper is perfect. The tanginess of the white wine, oh my God, the white wine vinegar and the mustard. That's perfect. That is perfect. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up. I will leave the uh, measurements in the description box, but as always, a person can alter, you know, do what they want in their recipe, especially after they've made it a couple of times. Then you know, oh, okay, let me try this, try that. You know, once you've made a, a recipe of someone else's a couple of times, then you know how to, you know, change it up for your own benefit, you know, how you or your family likes it. So anyway, I plan on making a couple of sandwiches this week uh, because I got a lot of things to do. Plus, it was some things in the freezer I want to make some sandwiches with. <laughs> and I love mayo. I don't know about you. Raise your hand and give this video a thumbs up. I love mayo mayonnaise. Put a, a mayonnaise emoji in your, com in your comment. But anyway, so anyway, hope you love this video. Hope you are, if you're not already making your own. Oh, I, did I? Did I already? Oh, anyway, I'm going to put the, put everything in the, um in the description box but if you are not already making oh this is so thick like especially like down at the bottom where i really kept it longer it's so thick it's not even move the thing can't even i can't even move the uh spatula the butter spreader down in there but anyway if you're not making your own video uh making your own uh mayonnaise you know this is the time to get started you know just start with one egg and uh a half a cup of oil or a cup you know and and work your way up so that you can start making your own i prefer the immersion blender method to, uh versus using a food processor i think the food processor is so tedious and there's so much room for error so that's why i love using the emergence blender so anyway thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up let me know if you love mayo also because like i said i love good mayo now <laughs> so anyway thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later bye bye for now